Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Auto World unboxing video. I'm super stoked to bring these to you. This is the 2021 premium release to Auto World set featuring the brand new C8 Corvette tooling. I am absolutely stoked to go ahead and open up these two sealed cases. And there's more. I've got... Um, two more sealed cases um, that are actually my buddies uh, that we're going to open up too. Of course, Die Castrum, right? So I mention him all the time on this channel. Uh, he's actually got, uh, he ordered two of these cases as well. So we're going to open those up to see if we score an ultra red or a chase of some sort. And uh, it also came with a 2021 release, his 2021 release one order. So we're going to open those cases as well. So all in all, we've got six uh, cases to open today, um, and that is just going to be fun. So here we go. So premium release two, we're going to start with the version A and then move on to the version B per usual. We're going to open up some of these because I want to take a look at that new Corvette tooling. We may open up, I don't know, maybe we'll open up all of them. I should just start doing that. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Uh, so here we go. Version A, this is a sealed unit. You can probably tell by the shipping label where we ordered these from. Um, they do not sponsor the channel, but uh, 3,000 Toys is, I believe, where we got these. Well, I don't believe where we got it. That's where I know we got it. That's when they arrived there, basically. So very, very new. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut tape here. All they do is they put their sticker on the top. Um, you definitely have a chance at pulling chases if you order cases from them. Uh, I've gotten lucky a few times. Uh, we'll see what happens here with this. I would I would love to score an ultra red, of course. All right, right off of the bat, we get the Corvette C8 brand new tooling from Auto World. I am super stoked to check this out. We are going to open this up. Here it is in black. This is the first release of our all new 2020 Chevy Corvette C8 casting. Uh, so very cool. You can read the. Uh, Little premium facts there. Limited to 13,904 pieces. Here's a look at the card art. Very, very nice as usual. These definitely present well on card. Um, of course, I open them all, except for the ones I end up hoarding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You can see there's a lot of new stuff going on here. Some of these are new variations of castings. And, like, the Nova that we're going to see here is a brand new casting. We haven't seen it in any release um, but some of them are going to be new, like, variations of casting. So that's fantastic. I'm so glad Auto World's doing a bunch of, like, new stuff. It's just uh, it's just great. You guys know they're my, my fave. So very cool. We are going to take a look at this. We will open this up. We will compare it to the Mini GT, and we will compare it to um, the Greenlight release of the C8 Corvette. So that will be interesting so we're going to do that probably in like this video will kind of be like a two-parter all right so next is oh, let me get it the 2019 chevy camaro zl1 1 le so this is a brand new version i guess of this casting so the new camaro zl1 1 le casting first release it's in crush orange crush and it's very orange it looks pretty cool you guys already know if you watch the channel i've mentioned i'm not like a huge fan of the styling of the newer camaro so this casting wasn't too exciting to me but it does look good i think they did do a good job of it and uh again the rendering up there looks great and uh just pretty cool all right so that is it in crush orange this one looks fantastic. This is the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon in Destroyer Gray. And this also is a new variation of the Hellcat casting. Very, very cool. So... The SRT Demon is banned by the NHRA in stock form interesting so really cool we'll check that one out all right let's go on 
And here's the brand new uh, Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon. Pretty cool looking car. It's in saddle tan poly. 13,904 pieces. First release of the casting, of course. This was the top of the line model in the Chevy 2 lineup. Very, very nice. Nice stock wagon. And all right. So everybody loves the square body Chevys. Here is the one in this series, 16,904. It's the first release of the 82 Chevy Silverado. The optional quad light front grille. So that's, I guess, what differs it from uh, one of the other ones that they've released. Uh, this one's in black and silver. Absolutely fantastic looking paint job on it. Um, and I quite like it good version of this. this it's got the wheels that I like when they use those wheels. Um, it's in dark blue, actually. I thought it was black, and it still looks black, like, under this light, but it is, I guess, very, 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 very dark blue. Yeah, that's as dark as blue gets, I guess. It's got an Iowa plate on it. It's always fun to look at that stuff, too. Utah plate. That's cool. Uh, these ones you can't see the plate. What does the C8 have on it? Uh, what is that? I can't see that. Louisiana, maybe. All right. And then the 1975 Cadillac Eldorado in Mandarin Orange Poly. 12,920 pieces on this one. Take a look at that. I don't think there's anything new about this casting. They did release it in a previous release. That looks pretty good. Looks like we have a little bit of a off-center issue there on the white line tire. Uh, Michigan pay up on the license plate. Much easier to look at the license plate in the artwork than it is on the actual car because it's so tiny. Uh, and there it is. So there's version A. So pretty cool. Move those to the side. Grab this right here. Here's our version B. We'll go ahead and open this up. And then what we'll do is we'll go through the other cases that we have to open. And just basically do a, ch a chase check on those. All right. And then satin steel gray for the 2019 Chevy Camaro ZL11LE. The 19-inch wheels of the ZL1 1LE are an inch smaller than the standard 20-inch. Interesting. So, pretty cool there. Card art. Real quick peek at that. Different color. And, yeah. Looks all right. Next one. Ooh, the Corvette in white. This looks fantastic. This 2020 Chevy Corvette. Ooh, I almost like it in white better than black. Very, very cool. Here's your premium fax. Really neat. Yeah, I like the new Corvette. I'm 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 a fan of it. I thought it looked very much Ferrari like, but and it does have those cues, but I like it. Here is the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, this time in yellow jacket. This car just is appropriate to have in either loud colors like yellow, orange, stuff like that, or in like just sinister looking colors like black or that destroyer gray. Both are fitting, I think, for this vehicle. Looks pretty cool. Digging it. And see what's next is the Chevy 2 Nova Wagon in Azure Aqua Poly. Definitely like this color. It's a very nice looking color. Limited to 13,904 pieces. Oh, many enthusiasts have installed their own V8s apparently in these. Sounds like a fun weekend project. All right, so there you go. Very awesome. Jennifer Blue with a 1975 Cadillac. That's a nice color, too. It's an interesting color. There were 24 different colors, paint colors available for the 1975 Cadillac across all models. 16 optional colors for the vinyl roof. So 
Auto World's got a lot to work with there if they start releasing this casting in all those colors. And then lastly, we get this one's black. <laughs> Here's the 1982 Chevy Silverado 10 fleet side in black. So here's your differences here. Included a refreshed interior and a new standard chrome front grille and bumper. It's got those quad headlights. This is a really nice version of this, actually. I love the wheels with the black in, the, in them. Um, just straight up black with a silver stripe. I think that looks really good. It's quite good. 16,904 pieces. All right, so I'm going to move this stuff here real quick. And we're going to, of course, dig into some more cases. We get no chases in, the, in these two uh, cases, unfortunately. But we got more chances here as we open up more of these. So let's see what we get we're gonna have here auto 2021 premium release two here's set a another sealed case let's go ahead and just uh, pop it open quickly pull out the cars and check see if we score something i really hope we score at least one ultra red that'd be fantastic just so we can take a look at it talk about it and whatnot so there's the truck Suspense. There's the caddy. There's the uh, Nova. Uh, Camaro. The Challenger. And lastly, the Vet. So no chase in that case. Next one here. And open her up. Come on, come on. Give us a chase. Give us an ultra red. Let's do this. Caddy. Sliverado. Challenger, Nova, Vet, or Vet, nope, Camaro, <laughs> and Vet. All right, no reds in the case there. All right, so we still have two more cases to open, but it's a different release. It's a release we've already covered, but we might as well get that on camera. Let's move these out of the way and I'm just going to take this pile these are all my buddy's cars I don't think it matters what order we open these in but here is release one oh, version a so this is 2021 release one these are still available I think on autoworldstore.com you can also I think still get them from 3000 toys obviously and maybe we'll get lucky in, in here stealth If you guys want to see these more in detail, Challenger, um, check out my video where I did the initial unboxing of these. The Supra. And you'll see I, I may or may not have scored much red in that one, right? Camaro. Truck. It's red, not an ultra red. But you can see the difference here. This is the, uh, the one with just the single headlight up there with that crazy grill. And not the quad headlights or whatever, just dual headlight. All right, and lastly, if I can get it, is the Suburban. All right, so no chase in that case. We are striking out here. Get these out of the way. And whoop, pile them up here. And last chance. Version B. Come on. It's so exciting to be able to open up Auto World cases. Just trying not to peek here as I put it up. So we can get some 
excitement supra stealth challenger camaro truck and suburban no ultra red boo all right well that's all right the nice thing about not getting an ultra red is you don't have to worry about replacing a regular right i don't know how you justify that but uh yeah so there's that all right so now what we're gonna do let's do we got to take a peek at these vets so let's do that um where's the white one here it is. All right. Brand new tooling from Auto World. I am stoked to take a look at these. So let's just get into them. I'm going to open up the white one actually first. Version B. And here it is. All right. So the first thing I noticed is it's got a lot of weight to it. And that's awesome. It's very heavy, heavy casting. back opens of course here to reveal a detailed engine man that's got quite the engine compartment on it. it's huge and it shuts all right the panel lines i mean you can see quite a bit of panel line in here in this white version the black one you're not going to see that as much uh, from the side though you can barely see it looks good uh, rolls good interior looks to be pretty detailed you got red seats in there and stuff I know that's kind of hard to see um, this one does not have inserted details for either the taillights or the headlights and Auto World rarely does inserted details very rarely um, they've done it on a few castings they don't do it often they did it on the new Supra they did not do it on this uh, Corvette so it is a painted detail or a graphic detail for the headlight it looks pretty good and then of course a graphic uh, detail for the taillights looks okay there on the back as well dig it we're getting out of focus here All right, let's go ahead and open the black one real quick 2020 Chevy Corvette and here it is in black so you can still see definitely the line there where the opening feature is and that gap is definitely still visible it is what it is when you have an opening part you're going to have that unfortunately there's not going to be much you're going to be able to do to make it that much tighter especially in a shape like this but it looks pretty good so it looks like they did do like a disc brake in there which is cool you know you don't get a caliper it looks like and that's probably because the disc rotates around with the wheel so again graphic headlights you get uh, some painted details on the interior and on the motor let's look at the base real quick if you want to check that out Tooling number 57. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think they did a good job on it. So the thing with Auto World is everything's going to be metal on metal. Typically, you're going to have graphical details for the uh, headlights um, as opposed to, you know, having inserts like the castings we're going to look at now. So this is Mini GT version. So Mini GT does not have any opening features, um, but these are both supposedly going to be 164 scale, like bang on 164. So I guess this is a good size comparison we can make here. And yeah, they do look pretty much right on. So Mini GT... A little bit more expensive they're going to have more parts and stuff like that so they do have uh inserted details for the tail lights they got separate pieces for the side mirrors 
and they do have inserted details up front for the headlights. Um, scale wise, they look to be pretty much identical. Let's see there, uh, looks like they also have like some defogger or something like that in the back. Just kind of interesting. So pretty cool. Both good jobs uh, from from each of these companies uh, making this car. And I do like both. We consider probably the Mini GT is going to be slightly more premium. They do, you know, however, cost more. All right. So, and then we got the odd one here is the green light. So here's the green light one, and this one's just a little bit different because they got their own take on it as well. They they do. They have this removable roof piece, which is just kind of sits up there. Doesn't like clip in or anything. So you just literally, oh, maybe it does clip in a little bit. But there you go, just drops right out. Uh, you do get disc brakes in this one. However, the calipers rotate around with the wheel. So that's kind of silly. I mean, it's definitely not. Uh, correct you shouldn't see calipers rotating around with the wheel uh, they should be in a fixed position but you know you're limited to what you can do in this scale um, and then here you get inserted details for the headlights with some sort of graphic on them as well um, your there's your engine compartment engine detail you get painted detail on the back for taillights uh, scale wise pretty much right on 164 so in that regard they kind of all match so they all did a good job actually scaling these vehicles so a pretty cool to kind of look at those three brands everybody's doing the c8 of course there's a matchbox one too and of course there's like a racing one for hot wheels but those aren't really ones that we would compare with these because you know they're dollar models and whatnot but there you go Pick a favorite? I don't know. I mean, I'm you know you guys know I'm partial to Auto World, but I love Mini GT as well, and I love what Mini GT is doing. Um, that one's probably the more premium one, if I'm you know 100% honest, and that's why it's you know premium cost. But uh, very very cool. I like I like them all really. I even like the green light quite a bit. So. Not a bad job. Not a bad job by any of these companies. In the Matchbox and the Hot Wheels ones, they look really good too. So there's no complaints there. All right. So next we're going to do is we're going to take a look at just real quick. We're going to go through um, the other cars. I know we're on a long video already here, but why not go through them? Let's start with the uh, uh, Camaro here. Normally I don't open these all. In these unboxing videos but we're just going to try changing it up a little bit here and just opening them so the chevy camaro zl11 le open that up. there it is an orange and then i'll get the one silver opened up So I don't know why I don't like the Camaro. I just something about the styling of these. I just it, they look okay. I guess I just never been a huge fan of the new style Camaros. I guess if I had to pick like one of these new, you know, revived muscle cars, the Camaro wouldn't be it from a style standpoint. But pretty cool with this wild, big wing, angular looking thing. Heavy casting. It looks pretty good. Uh, what should we do next? Let's do the, uh, let's get the trucks out of the way. We got uh, 82 Silverados. Here's your version A right here in this really dark blue. So more of these join the group. I'll tell you what, Auto World is definitely the king of the square body as far as I'm concerned. 
and this other one in black. I think they've done a better job than M2 for sure. Um, obviously, the Hot Wheels one is desirable. We haven't seen that one out in a while, surprisingly. Well, I guess besides the Hot Wheels Legends Tour thing that's going on now. so I like both. I'm going to say I prefer this one in all black, I think, is the best. Really, really cool. Red interior. like it. This one in blue is really nice, though, too. All right, let's set that aside. And we're going to do the... Chevy 2. So there's your version A right there in saddle tan poly. There that is. And I'm just going to open up the other one right away in azure aqua poly. This is a cool casting. For some reason, this really like kind of reminds me of a Tomica Limited vintage. And the reason why is just because it seems like a kind of like, I don't know, boring car. Like real basic stock, but it's just really cool. And just the fact that it's kind of a smaller wagon just kind of reminds me of that brand. Details are really, really nice. We got painted details, of course, all over. Um, this is a really good looking little basic car rolls really smooth yeah I like this one actually quite a bit more than I thought I would pick a color pick a color I'd probably get it in this color that's really pretty that's a pretty looking blue poly looks good in gold too but that blue I'm into the blue alright uh, let's see here let's do Cadillac Starting with the this interesting mandarin orange poly. It's just a interesting color. So let's get that out. We got a tire falling off the rim. Gotta fix that. So, not bad. Again, the only complaint I'm going to have, obviously, is going to be that white wall. Yeah, both, actually all the tires seem to have some issues. This one's like square. Sometimes they'll be flashing left over on the rims. And, that, and that's probably what the case is with this one, why it's not sitting perfectly round around the tire. That's actually easily fixable. You got to pull a tire off and just cut that flashing off. Um, meaning there's just a little bit of leftover plastic from when these rims were like separated from their mold or whatever whatever they do. I'm not super keen on the uh, uh, manufacturing process. Big old motor in there. Um, gold interior too. So, but other than the the issue with the wheels up front here, I'd like to find one with circular. Oh, not front. The one in the back here is the worst. That's the trouble with these. If for some reason, it's really hard to get a perfect circle on these rubber tires. It, it happens often. We are going to have a wonky looking one. Other than that, this car is awesome. Um, and then let's see here. Pull up the blue one. Let's see if we get it better on the wheels on the blue one. This video is going to be 30 minutes plus. Hmm? Yeah, the front one. Yeah, that's something I wish the process would improve on. I love Auto World, but there's no problem with me being honest and in, in saying that, you know there's something that can be improved that would be it for me is anytime you put a white line on the tires to be able to actually get that to be circular like they did a real good job it looks like on these on these novas like those look really good tires white line really no issues those are pretty much right on center uh these cadillacs though 
And I've noticed that this is not new to this Cadillac casting. It's been some, somewhat of an issue for any die cast brand when they try to do this. Um, they try to put a white line on the tire. All right. And lastly, this might be, I don't know, the coolest one in the case. This Destroyer Gray Challenger. I mean, it just looks mean. So let's go ahead. It's a demon. Yeah, that is just bad. Love the wheels on it. Wheel entire choice is fantastic. This one just looks absolutely great. And the yellow one looks pretty good too, so we'll take a look at that. But the gray one, I mean, if I was going to get one of these personally, I think out of all the ones that Auto World has released, I get this Destroyer gray one. All these challengers that they've released. Trying to get the hood open on the yellow one here so you can see that. Side of there. Roll, they roll good. Tires seem to be on nice and straight. No quality issues, it doesn't appears with the, this uh these challengers. Solid. Um, yeah, so I I think this is my favorite in the case. Dare I say. And I'm not a huge challenger guy. I just think that Destroyer Gray one's fantastic. The yellow one looks good, too. But, I mean, that one just looks mean. And I like that. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to say, you know, top top one in the case. I think the best-looking car in the case is definitely this gray Challenger. Um, I like the Vets. The Vets look really cool. Um, I think I dig maybe the white one, actually, over the black one, just because you can kind of... just looks really cool. And then um, the Nova is really cool. Uh, the trucks are really nice versions of the trucks. Not bad. And then um, the Camaro's all right. I, you know, like I just said, I'm not a huge fan of the styling of the newer Camaro. So that's just my kind of opinion. If I had to pick one, though, definitely silver over that loud color. Um, and then lastly we got the Cadillac now I like this casting of the Cadillac the thing that just turns me off like I said before is just those wheels like the, the white lines being off it just looks weird it's going to be glaring in photographs like if I was trying to photograph the car it would look um, not great you'd have to find like kind of a good angle alright so that's it all right, thank you guys very much for watching this quite long unboxing Auto World video. I don't know if we'll do this again where we open all the cars. It just takes a real long time, which is okay. Um, so if you stuck around, uh, thank you guys very much. And, uh, you know, check out the Auto World playlist if you want to see more content, more unboxing and stuff like that. We did not strike out on all the cases. I've, I've gotten Ultra Reds out of cases. So if you haven't watched, check them out. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys again. Have a good day.